Hello everybody, today we make a nice dish. We make a spaghetti carbonara. And I got over here the guanciale, already a core, and I got about three ounces of the guanciale. So you don't got a guanciale, you can make pancetta or bacon. It's okay. So you don't got this, you can use a prosciutto. It's all right, it's pork. Now, the use of this spaghetti carbonara, we got over here little oil, but not too much oil, because the, the guanciale is already greasy. I got black pepper, I got pecorino cheese, I got eggs, but I was use one full eggs and one only the yolk. And I got over here eight ounce spaghetti. Now, the start of this, I put a little oil on the pots, but not too much oil, like I say, because the pancetta is greasy. Not the pancetta, the guanciale. That's it. Okay, let's put the gas on. I want the warm up really good. Because when I put the guanciale, it make a nice right away, it start to fry good. Okay, now the oil, let's warm up, and we put the guanciale. Right over here. Okay, we turn this, because now this is almost ready. And now we cook the pasta. The pasta, the spaghetti, you need about eight minutes. I salt already the water, the water boil, and let's dump. Make sure to turn the pasta around like this, like this is no stick. Okay, now this will take like eight minutes to cook this spaghetti. The pasta it's cooked, the time the pasta got to cook, I prepare the eggs. And I need the black pepper. And I need, I got over here pecorino cheese, Romano. And now, we scramble together. The pasta is ready. Now, the one child, what happened, I take a Turn off, okay, you know, gotta be really hot. Cause it's too hot when you put the eggs, it make a frittata. It makes scrambled eggs. Like this, this is to cool off the pots. Now we take the pasta, and the pasta, it's hot. And we take out of over here. See, got a little, the water, the pasta, no water, but, but not too much. It can be a little bit water like this now we put it right over here and we turn this everything like that okay now it's time to put the eggs inside and we put it right over here but when you put this make sure that Okay, the turn right away. All right. Okay, it looks so good that now it's a time of me to eat this. This is for me one spoon. Ow. Okay, now we put it in the dish. Okay, pecorino cheese is so good. But you know why? It's not, this is too small for me. I need a lot of cheese over here. And let's do this one. Okay, you think you got, I got enough of this? Huh? Okay. All right, this, look at this. Beautiful. Okay, let me test. My pasta, oh, so good. Mmm. The guanciale. And the pecorino cheese, it look really, really good taste. And I told you the truth. Today, I want to enjoy by myself. I want to get a nice glass of wine too, after. Mmm. I want to say, thank you very much, everybody. This is a beautiful dish. But the guanciale, it give a good taste. Thank you very much. I'll see you next recipe.